So for you lovers, your romantics, <laughs> we're gonna create this custom heartbeat by starting with dimensions 19 by 1080. And the first thing we want to do is find a background, you know, with the Valentine theme. I simply typed Valentine and you get all these different types of backgrounds. So choose one that you like. I chose this one for this demonstration. Then we're gonna head over to Elements and you want to type in Valentine again or even Heart. Uh, but I find with Valentine it gives you all these other elements you might want to throw into this but uh, I'm going to keep it simple and use this heart element because I liked that it had this nice shading on it, mimicking some lighting, uh, looking 3D as well. So I really like this element for this animation. Next we want to animate the heart so we're going to click out of the workspace to trigger the animation feature here. At the top left corner we're going to click that. Now it's up to you on the type of animation you want. You can either use stomp or pop. I like the way pop looks. It's, it's a bit more over exaggerated and uh, it has a nice effect on it so I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to change the timing to 1.3. Now for you this may vary because depending if you're going to use audio like I did. Uh, the timing, I worked it out to 1.3 seconds, so it times it with the heartbeat. Fire just to quickly preview this. You see how it's just got that one heartbeat. So what you're going to do now is just go to the right here, duplicate the page, and I'm going to duplicate this until I get to about 10 seconds. was 10.4 seconds. So if I preview this now, yeah, so it just repeats and it creates that heartbeat momentum. Now I'm going to bring in the actual heartbeat sound. And this is from Epidemic Sound. It's just called Heartbeat Normal SFX if you want to search for it. You can hear it now. So now when I preview this. You see the timing fits perfectly only because I fiddled with it to figure out the timing. So typically you would just export this and you're done. but. As you saw in the demonstration, I added some text and I'm just going to show you quickly how I did that. So before we can add the text, we want to export this as a video. So we're going to go to the right and click on download, make sure MP4 video is selected and we're going to click on download. Now once it's exported, you're going to re-upload it back to your folder so that we can add some text on top of it. So now you bring that file into the scene. And then the next step obviously is to lay down the text. And I've already done this, but the way I wanted to show you, I don't know if you got my quick tip the other day, but one of the things you could do to take advantage of the animation features regarding text is you divide up your text to groups of two, groups of three, and the effect will vary. So in this case, I separated these words, as you see. And then Valentine, I typed those words all individually. So now when I animate this, and uh, I chose neon, you're gonna see the effect it gives it, right? Now once that's done, you can export this as I previously showed you so that it's, you know, one video file. Now, as always, if you got something out of that, let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Those of you who always watch my videos to the end, I truly appreciate you. You are my true super fans. And this was my Valentine to you.